Ross Poldark. We've got uh, Ross Poldark Book One, the book by Winston Graham, about the mine owner, and uh, here is an excerpt. After their one large scale invasion, the miners of Inlagan made no move. There was always a chance of trouble when the next feast day came, but until then the distance between the places would save accidental clashes. Ross suspected for a time that they might try to take the child away by force, and he told her that she was not to go far from the house. One evening, riding home from St Anne's, a hail of stones was flung at him from behind a hedge, but that was the last sign of public disfavour. People had their own concerns to think of. Turning, turning over the lumber in the library, Prudy came upon a stout piece of printed dimity, and this, washed and cut up, made two sack-like frocks for the girl. Then an old bedspread with a deep lace edge was cut up into two pairs of combinations. Demelza had never seen anything like them before, and when she was wearing them she always tried to pull them down so that the lace showed below the hem of her skirt. Much against her will, Prudy found herself enlisted in a campaign in which she had no personal belief. The war on life. It was necessary to point out to Demelza at frequent intervals that her new master wouldn't tolerate dirty bodies or dirty hair. But how do we know? The girl asked one day when the rain was trickling down the bottle green glass of the kitchen window. How do we know? My hair is dark and there ain't that change whether you'd a wash it or a no. Prudy frowned as she basted the meat, which was roasting over a spit over the fire. Yeah, but it'd make a powerful difference to the number of crawlers. Crawlers? echoed Demelza and scratched her head. Why, everyone's got crawlers. He don't like em. Why? said Demelza seriously. You've got crawlers. You've got crawlers worse than what I have. He don't like em, Prudy said stu stubbornly. Demelza digested this for a moment. Well, how do you get rid of em? Wash, 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 said Prudy. Like a blathering duck, said Judd, who had just entered the kitchen. Demelza turned her head and gazed at him with her interested dark eyes. Then she looked at Prudy. How is it you ain't got rid of them then? she asked, anxious to learn. I washed enough, said Judd sarcastically. Tain't right for human beings to have skins. They must scrub their self raw as a buttock of beef to please some folk. But then again it depends upon how crawlers do attach themselves. Crawlers is funny, kicklish creatures. Crawlers like some folk better than other folk. Crawlers have a natural infinity with some folk, just like they were brother and sister. Other folk, God makes them clean by nature. Look at me, you won't find no crawlers on my head. Demelza considered him. No, she said, but you ain't gotten any air. Judd threw down the turfs he had bought in. If you learned her to hold her tongue, he said pettishly to his wife, twould be a sight better than learning her that. If you learned her manners how to speak respectable to folks and answer respectable and be respectable to their elders and betters, would be a sight better than that. Then ye could pat yourself on the head and say, "Thir, I'm doing a tidy job learning her to be respectable. But what are he doing? Tain't hard to answer, tain't hard to see. You're learning her to be sassy. That was an extract from book one from Ross Poldark by Winston Graham